welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Wednesday, so that means it is what I eat in a day on WW. Today I'm going to share with you all of my food throughout the day. We're gonna see Diesel and Lola. We're gonna do some fun things around the house. I have a brand new protein powder that I'm obsessed with that I wanna share with you guys and it's just going to be an overall great day. Plus, the dinner tonight, taco, casserole, definitely stay tuned to the end of the video to get that recipe. So let's jump right in to this What I Eat In A Day on WW. you guys saw in my morning coffee I just thought that I'd show it to you guys I'm gonna get a lot of questions I'm sure this is the hydrate with pink Himalayan salt and this is from coffee over cardio so basically what this is is it is a hydration boost that you can add to coffee this is the butter toffee flavor so it's hydration recovery and endurance so this is a really good thing to add to your morning cup of coffee before you go work out or if you have a busy day ahead of you to give you that little bit of hydration and that little bit of energy boost. It does not have any calories listed, so it would be zero smart points. Here are the ingredients. Now there are there is sucralose in here, which you guys know that I don't absolutely love sucralose, but other than that, the ingredients aren't too terrible. There is Himalayan pink salt for hydration and lasting energy and healthy living. And again, this is coffee over cardio. So my review on this is it's, it's good. It's not creamy at all. I did only put one scoop into my coffee and I feel like one scoop was enough, but I had to add some half and half. So it's not going to make your coffee creamy, but it did definitely give it that butter toffee flavor. So I would recommend this if you're looking for a little extra boost with your coffee or even in the afternoon, if you're making maybe an iced coffee or a second coffee of the day, you can add this in for that little bit of extra boost. So Again, this is from Coffee Over Cardio. I do have 10% off for them. You guys know I love their coffee, their clothes, all the things. I'll put that here on the screen and link it down below for you guys. But this is the one I got, which again is the butter toffee. So here's breakfast for today. Of course, I'm on my water. This is my first water. I just finished my coffee. I went ahead and cooked up one egg, seasoned it with some of the onion salt from Trader Joe's. So this is zero points. And then I'm having my meal prep from this last week, which is my overnight vanilla quinoa. So I just add some fresh blueberries to the top. So this is going to be this morning's breakfast. What a wonderful world Say hi to everyone, buddy. They always want to see you. So I've been laying on my bed outside all morning. I just came in. Yes, I did. And she's been with me most of the morning. Hi, baby. Say we cuddle, mommy kissed me, told me how pretty I was. Yeah. All right, here's lunch today. I made a new salad creation. I'm so excited. I'll definitely be putting this recipe on my website. But you guys, this is going to be so delicious. So what I have is three pieces of the cauliflower new chick on the block. You guys know I love this breaded chicken. It is so good. And you can have three huge tenders for three smart points. So basically one point per tender. So I have those on top. 
I also always like to add a little bit of fresh basil to my salad. It really brings out the flavor, especially when you're adding fruit, like I did with the strawberries. I just have a bed of spinach, and you guys know these are those new containers I got at Costco. I love them. Look how amazing my spinach looks, and it's been in the fridge for a few days now. So I went ahead and topped everything on a big bed of spinach. I have some strawberries, and then I have one ounce of the Trader Joe's crumbled feta cheese, and I have one tablespoon of the Trader Joe's raw sunflower seeds, a little bit of purple cabbage for that little bit of crunch. I'm telling you, the basil and the strawberry together is amazing. And then I made my typical vinaigrette, the one I always, always use. I do actually have this recipe on my website, but I'll include it in with this particular salad so that you guys will have it a little bit more handy for you. But it's so good. You guys look at this. It's like thick and yummy and it's that perfect sweetness and tang because it's balsamic vinegar with a little bit of avocado oil, some spicy brown mustard, salt and pepper, and it literally is the perfect pairing for this salad. So this is my lunch for today. I'll put the points here on the screen for you guys, kind of a breakdown of everything, but I'm gonna have this and I'm on my third big jug of water. And again, I'll leave this recipe on my website for you guys. All right, it's time for a treat. Is it time for a treat? You want a treat, buddy? Good boy. Lily, you want treats? Good girl. So it is afternoon snack time. I'm gonna go ahead and make a protein shake. And I was telling you guys about a new protein powder that I was waiting to show up so I could try it and it is here and I love it. So we're gonna do a little review on one of the flavors today. So let me show you the protein and what's in my smoothie. So the brand of protein is Live Well. Now this is a plant-based protein, which is something I generally don't like because it has that weird chalky texture that just kind of a bizarre flavor that you don't get with whey protein. So I generally don't care for plant protein, but this stuff is so good. I have to say this is my favorite protein powder and it's plant-based, which is crazy that I love it that much. But you get 16 grams of amino acids, 17 grams of complete protein. So complete protein like what's in quinoa, the best protein source. Two grams of natural sugar. It's organic, which is amazing. This is the vanilla. And even more amazing, you guys, besides these ingredients, which are stellar, absolutely perfection, it is one smart point per scoop. 17 grams of protein for one smart point. That is the lowest clean protein that I've been able to find. So this just has so much going for it. It is seriously so good. So I have the vanilla and I also have the chocolate. Now the chocolate has the same amount of protein. It has 104 calories per scoop. I'll put the points here on the screen. I'm guessing it's one point as well. But today we are going to try. So you can see I've got the big bags of vanilla and chocolate. Today we're going to try the coconut. Now you guys know I love coconut everything and this actually has the same everything it's one more gram of sugar so i'll put the points here for how many points per scoop but i'm excited to try this it looks like it's about 100 calories 97 calories for the scoop again we have perfect ingredients so today i decided to give this a try and make a tropical smoothie so i have some organic uh, pineapple chunks i put in one half of a frozen banana one cup of the great value unsweetened almond milk so let's blend this up and give it a taste test and see what we think of the coconut live well Alrighty, here it is look at this oh it looks so good oh wow it smells legit tropical like i smell the coconut the pineapple so what i'm hoping is that this does not have that plant-based protein taste and texture doesn't have that grittiness the vanilla and chocolate are outstanding like seriously you guys highly recommend ingredient wise points wise taste wise so good i'm hoping that coconut is just as delicious we shall see mm. wow oh that is so good you guys this is tropical vibes all the way it is so incredibly good zero plant paste protein taste zero of that weird texture wow this is equally as delicious as the vanilla and the chocolate mm. 17 grams of protein crazy so i do have 10 percent off for live well you have to click the link down in the description box it'll automatically give you the 10 percent off at checkout check it out i'll link it down below get the vanilla the chocolate the coconut get them all because they're outstanding 
So for dinner tonight, I'm making the fantastic taco casserole. I can't wait for this. It has corn chips, all the things tacos. I can't wait. Let me show you what's in tonight's dinner. First, you're going to need some corn chips. So I'm using these Trader Joe's organic corn dippers. These are my favorite. They are so incredibly delicious. You'll also need some salsa, refried beans, some olives. This is just a big pack from Costco. We just stored in this container. You'll need some light shredded cheese, a couple of tomatoes, two green onions, a packet of taco seasoning. Mine comes from Thrive Market. Definitely check out Thrive down in the description box. There's a $20 product credit where you can get anything you want when you join the Thrive Market. Free shipping, they give you goodies with your orders, and they have thousands of wholesome, clean eating foods. Love the Thrive Market. And then last, I have a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef. So let's make our taco casserole. So the first step is go ahead and put your pound of ground beef in a skillet. You want a pretty large skillet, and we're just gonna go ahead and get this browning. When it is just about browned through, we're gonna go ahead and add the taco seasoning. Hamburger is coming along nicely. I went ahead and added the can of refried beans to a small pan. We're gonna go ahead and warm those through as well. We're just about ready to add in the taco seasoning. I've been kind of breaking up the ground beef as it's cooking. When your burger is just about cooked through, we're gonna go ahead and add in our taco seasoning. And then I usually fill the little pouch up two or three times and add that in as well. So that looks pretty good. I ended up only needing about a pouch of the water. We're just gonna let that kind of simmer, get melded in really well with the meat. And then our green beans, we wanna warm these up so that they're easier to spread on top of our casserole. And then we're ready to start putting it together. So the first thing that we're going to do is take six ounces of corn chips. That's what I have here. I measured this out on my food scale and we're going to put those in the bottom of an eight by eight. This might be a nine by nine, but about this size of a baking dish. This is going to form the crust of our taco casserole. Once your beans start to warm through, they're gonna thin out quite a bit when they become warm. We're gonna go ahead and add one cup of our light shredded cheese. And then we're going to add one cup of salsa. I'm just gonna put what's left here in my jar because I may be even short a bit of a cup, but you want about a cup of salsa and we're gonna stir this until combined. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take that bean, cheese, and salsa mixture and see how much thinner it is when you warm it up. You're kind of able to pour it over the top of the chips. So that's what we wanna do. We wanna kind of spread it out nice and even so that we're basically layering the bean mixture on top of the corn chips. We're then gonna go ahead and sprinkle the remaining one cup of cheese over the top. And I'm just gonna use my fingers just so that I can get cheese in all the different areas here. And then the last, step before this goes into a 375 degree oven is we're gonna add those two chopped up green onions and some black olives right to the top of our casserole. No wonder they call this the fantastic casserole because this looks amazing. So I've got my couple of green onions here and we're gonna go ahead and add those directly on top. So you can either cut them up or use shears. This just works really good and it makes it go pretty fast. So we're gonna go ahead and just add both of these green onions and then we'll be ready to top it with some black olives. <laughs> So here it is, this looks amazing. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 375 just until the cheese is melted and we feel like it's warmed all the way through. And while that's in the oven, I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some fresh tomatoes and we'll top this casserole with the tomatoes when it comes out of the oven. All right, the fantastic taco casseroles out of the oven. It looks so good. I went ahead and chopped up a couple organic tomatoes and we're just gonna add these directly to the top. And we're gonna let this sit for just a couple of minutes, kind of let it rest before we cut into it. This pan here makes eight servings. So it's going to be quite a large, thick serving because this pan is filled 
to the brim with the taco casserole. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these tomatoes on. We'll let it sit a couple minutes. I'll cut it into eight slices and I'll be back to show you dinner and give you the smart points. So I went ahead and cut the taco casserole into eight servings. So it's a pretty good sized serving. So this is one eighth of the casserole and this is eight smart points on the blue and purple plan and 10 points on the green plan because of having to account for the refried beans. And I topped mine with one point of the good culture sour cream. So my dinner is a total of nine smart points. So here's my dessert for tonight. I'm going to have one slice of my blueberry muffin loaf that I made in meal prep. It is so delicious. It's so good. This big slice is only four smart points. The recipe is on my website. The link to my website is down in the description box. So this is my four smart point dessert. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed seeing all my food throughout the day. Diesel and Lola, definitely pick up that protein powder, you guys. It is so incredibly delicious. I literally am obsessed with it. It's so good. The link for that and the discount code is down in the description box below. Also, the recipe is over on my website from tonight's dinner. My website is in the description box along with the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our amazing community over there. So head on over and join us. Discount codes, Links to all my favorite things are down in that description box as well, so check it out. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the little subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. That way you don't miss a single one. That bell will just shoot you a notification when new videos come live. So hit both the subscribe and the bell. Give this video a big thumbs up if you love what I eat in the days. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me today. Happy Wednesday, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Oh, 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 oh,